Hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. And my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can decide whether or not you wanna spend time or money or both sometimes watching a particular film. So the movie I'm reviewing today is called The Family Plan. This goofy action comedy is now playing on Apple TV+. Plus. The film is rated PG-13. It's an hour and 58 minutes long, which is kind of long for this movie. And my overall movie review mom grade is a C. Wah, wah. It's not the greatest. However, it's not as bad as a lot of people are saying. I actually got a kick out of it. Uh, but I recognize it's not great. <laughs> so I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let me give you an overview in a nutshell. And then I'll point out uh, some tips for parents since it's sort of geared towards families. Uh, themes worth talking about. Interesting lines, funny lines, things that I really liked, things I didn't like, and recommendations for other films that are sort of similar that you might like better than this one. Or you might like this one. Hopefully you will. Anyway, in a nutshell, the story is about a top government assassin who has been living incognito as a suburban dad. His past finally catches up to him, and he has to take his unsuspecting family on the run. The film was directed by Simon Cullen Jones. Writing credits go to David Cogshall. Now, let me give you some tips for parents. Some people are asking, who is this movie for? Is it for the adults or the kids or somewhere in between? I would say probably somewhere in between. So here are some of the content that parents should know. There is profanity, including one F-bomb. There is some sexual innuendo and talk of sex violence with various weapons, a very high dead body count, although it's basically bloodless and we just see people like get shot and then they kind of keel over and die, that kind of thing. Lots and lots of destruction. We see a shirtless man. A mom chugs beer upside down on a college campus. A married couple makes out in bed. People are in perilous situations. A teenage girl flips the bird, and we see a teenage boy kill a bunch of people in video games. Well, they're animated video games. Some of the themes that are illustrated well are identity, expectations, family, secrets, and dishonesty, and spontaneity in marriage. Now, here's the long list of things I actually did like about this movie. First of all, I love Mark Wahlberg. He is equally talented in drama, action, and comedy. And I love him in all of those different genres. Here in Las Vegas, where he lives and I live, he actually has a really great reputation as being a stand-up, really nice family man. That's impressive to me, especially while he continues to pump out movies in Hollywood where they also love him. He and his co-star in this movie, Michelle Monaghan, also starred together in the movie Patriot's Day back in 2016. Did you ever see that one? I really liked that and thought they were both excellent in that one as well. You can see my movie review of that uh, on my Movie Review Mom YouTube channel and on my website. So I'm wondering when Michelle Monaghan and Maggie Q, for that matter, are ever going to start aging. I thought they both looked amazing. There's a character in the movie named Kyle who plays the son, but he has this fake passport that he's given with the new name of Van, which is actually the real name of the actor, Van Crosby. And he kind of pokes fun as it, at it and he says, that's the name of a car. What kind of a name is that? So I thought that was kind of cute. Adele also gets some shout outs during the film. I mean, who doesn't love Adele? And which is also something that people say in the movie. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg's character says she has the voice of an angel, <laughs> which she does. She has an amazing voice. And actually quite a few comments were made. And I thought, oh, surely she's going to show up, you know, because the family travels to Vegas and she currently has residency here in Vegas. So I thought, Surely she'll show up, but she never does. So wah, wah. I guess that's on the list of bad things. But back to the list of good things that I liked. Keep watching during the final rolling credits for some cute images and some more funny clips. 
Uh, there's also a shout out to Vanilla Ice. Now, if you were a fan, you might love those moments or you might cringe. Now, onto the list of things that I didn't like or just thought could have been done better. For example, the characters felt like characters. Nothing felt real in the story. Now, I know it's supposed to be a silly comedy and over-the-top ridiculous characters, but somehow it made the film feel more hollow and cheesy, overly cheesy somehow. I don't know. It just... Yeah, so many movies are have been made like this that are just better. And I kept trying to figure out, put my finger on what was it that was missing. But that's the result is you kind of are like, it's almost funny. It's almost really cute, but something is missing. Teenage daughters in movies are always portrayed like complete monsters, as is the teenage girl in this movie. Uh, I thought the character was really unlikable until about act three, maybe into act two. And the teenage son, I liked him, but there was just something really annoying about her. Uh, and something happened. She gets her heart broken. And then finally, I started feeling some sympathy for her. I thought both of the actors who played the teenagers did a really good job. The scenarios are completely ridiculous in the movie and the characters' reactions to various things are unrealistic and even at times really odd. Uh, so just check your brain out the door, enjoy Mark Wahlberg and just because he's awesome and, you know, and just don't think too hard about this movie and then I think you'll get a kick out of it. Uh, a lot of the jokes don't land. Some of them do, but ultimately the movie is extremely formulaic and very cliched. So when I watch movies, I always write down funny lines and interesting lines simply so I can share them with you so you can get a taste for the dialogue and the script writing quality and that kind of thing. And so you can see all of them on my written review at moviereviewmom.com, but I'll share a few of them with you right here. So one of the lines that actually made me laugh out loud was spoken by Mark Wahlberg, who plays the dad named Dan, and his family finally finds out he was an assassin, you know, and they're like, well, how many people have you killed? You know, and, and uh, he kind of plays around with the numbers for a little bit. And finally, he says, 43 people. They were all bad. And I just laughed because it reminds me of one movie that I think is hilarious, which is True Lies, starring Jamie Lee Curtis and Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's hilarious. So if you like this idea of the hidden identity, definitely watch that movie, especially if you're younger and missed it when it first came out. I think it came out in the 80s, early 90s, maybe. I forget. But anyway, I have that on my list of movies to recommend to you later on. So hold on. But that was a line that I was just like, oh, that's such a great line. Uh, because Arnold says, when his wife asks, you know, how many of you killed in his movie in True Lies? He's like, actually, I don't know if he says a number. I can't remember, but he says, and they were all bad. One of the funny clips at the very end during the rolling credits is Mark Wahlberg. While he's this cool assassin, he's also kind of nerdy to pop culture and that kind of thing. And so his whole family is singing to Vanilla Ice. And he's like, who's this? Janet Jackson? <laughs> And I just thought it was cute. I love it when he is, you know, so buff and so cool, but then he plays a character that's just, you know, super nerdy. And that's kind of, kind of what he does. I mean, he straddles super assassin and nerdy dad kind of a thing. There's some other funny lines, but here's a couple of interesting lines. So Dan, who's Mark Wahlberg's character, the dad says, it's never too late to become the man you've always wanted to be. Exactly. Even though he had a past, every day he was choosing to be a family man. It wasn't like just witness protection and he was faking his way through it. He really loved his family. And you see that and feel that in the movie. And to that point, another character whose name is Augie, played by Saeed Tagmoui, says about Mark Wahlberg's character, look at you playing the family man. And Mark Wahlberg's character says, I'm not playing. This is my life. And again, you really believe that he loves his family. And he does. I mean, the character does in the movie. All right. So as I was watching this, I immediately thought of three movies that I want to tell you about. I already mentioned the first one, True Lies. So fun. So cute. 
Another one is Daddy's Home, starring Mark Wahlberg. Again, playing a different type of dad. And actually, I really enjoy uh, the first and the second movie of Daddy's Home that he did. And then another Mark Wahlberg family movie is Instant Family, where he plays a family man again. And I really love seeing the side of him because we know he could do the hardcore shoot em up type of films, but he is a family man in real life. And you see that he is kind of softening in his old age. Not that he's that old, but, you know, he's choosing some films that his family can watch. And I really admire that and respect that. All right, that's it. Hopefully you'll watch this movie and your expectations will be low enough that you'll be pleasantly surprised and enjoy it because I actually did uh, a lot more than a lot of other film critics. That's for sure. All right, that's it. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.